Hey, welcome to 159 Videos. Uh, we've got a D17 here. This is a 2003 Honda Civic, and we are doing a timing. This is going to be part one of the timing, getting everything set, getting the timing belt off. You're going to have to remove uh, the belt off the uh, power steering pump. you got to remove the belt off the AC. you got to get the upper bracket right here removed. Um, so we're going to get everything all set up. We'll call this part one. If you want to see how to remove all your valve cover and get the coils out, that's on a different video. So that way we can get this so it's a little bit short, sweet, and right to the point. Um, you got to take your uh, wheel off. you got to take that cover off over there so you can get to the crankshaft and the pulleys over there. And so let's go ahead and get this started so we can get everything set before we take it apart. Now make sure you pop this little uh, plug off right here. And then all you do is push down and slide right out. Once that's out of the way, then you can get the cover off. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Now we have access to the top right here, so the next step is to go ahead and get everything removed down below. We got to get all the belts off real quick, so let's get that done. Now to remove your power steering um, bolt right here, to remove your power steering belt right here, all you had to do is there's 12 millimeter right here, and there's a 12 millimeter hiding just right there. And once you uh, loosen those up, then you can actually get the belt off with ease, as you see. So we're going to go pull it off. Now we got to do the um, alternator belt down there. Let's get that done. And for you that were paying attention, you would have noticed that this was on backwards because someone did this before me. And this actually comes out on this side. So that way your adjuster, which goes up top right here, so that way you can do it. So I'm going to show you guys how to put it back together the correct way when we get back to putting this thing back together. So... Yes, I took it off because I have to pull the head, but that's going to be a separate video because I have to replace the head gasket on this car as well. That's why we're doing the timing belt. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it um, correctly and get it right. And uh, so anyway, so got that belt off. Got to do the alternator and, and the air conditioner belt right now. So as soon as I get that compressor belt off, then we got to break out the 19 millimeter, get the front pulley bolt off. Um, we're going to get everything lined up, get all the uh, marks set before we start taking the head off. Okay, for the alternator uh, belt, AC compressor belt, it's a 14 millimeter, right straight down below where the uh, power steering pump is. So once you loosen that bad boy up, then there's a wing nut on the back side that you'll have to use to loosen it the rest of the way. So now this is loose, let's get the other part done. Stick this out of the way. Now, since you're underneath the car, you will have to get a 12 millimeter to finish loosening the alternator right there. Um, just wanted to show you it's just right above where the compressor is. Once you loosen that up, now the alternator be done. We have that belt off. I've already loosened up the sprocket bolt right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rest away. Like I said, we still gotta set the timing belt before we actually pull it off. I'll show you the marks as soon as I get everything clear. We're going to have to remove the front bra, or the upper motor mount bracket right here. So, with that said, you're going to have to take a jack and jack up the motor, support the motor a little bit. So, let's go ahead and get that done so we can start getting full access to the cover, get everything set, get the timing belt off. Alright, let's go ahead and get this bracket off. I got the motor supported. So, let's get this out of the way. One more, then this one is done. Get this guy out of the way. All right, one more step closer. So let's get back underneath, get the bottom pulley off, get that cover off so we can actually get the, uh, the timing set. We're gonna get the tensioner on, um, loosened up so we can get the timing belt off. So once you pull the pulley bolt out, we're going to go ahead and pull this pulley off. Get that out of the way. And pretty much just put your hands up in here, just wiggle it back side to side, and boom, that's right on off. 
I just heard the keyway fall down, so we have to find that real quick. Now we almost have access. We've got a couple more 10 millimeter uh, bolts, and we'll have the plastic cover off, and we'll have full access to the timing uh, belt. Okay, where you see the red bolt, that is the tensioner. Um, now this right here was the water pump, which has already been replaced. It's brand spanking new. But that's the water pump. That's just a couple of 10 millimeter bolts. So when you change out your water pump, what you have to do when you do your timing belt, because it runs off the the timing belt and it's a pretty important part so you're doing all this work anyway so you want to go ahead and change it out so let's go ahead and loosen up the tensioner um, I set the timing so let me show you real quick okay and this is what you should see right here it says up okay it says up then there's a mark right here and there's a mark right there they have to be on a parallel plane to the flat surface of the head, which they are. So down below, you want to have it set up. Let me show you. So the belt's completely off. There's a mark. See that mark right there? Let me pull the light off. All right. Where that mark is right there. Let me pull the, let me pull the bolt off because you really can't see it. Actually, I can pull it back here. Right where that mark is, that line, okay, that'll point to the arrow, which is actually on the oil pump of the front of your motor. So let's get the belt off here. Everything's lined up. Don't forget to mark your belt, which direction it goes. Hondas go counterclockwise. So the arrow will be pointing towards the front of your car. So always want to do that so that it goes back on exactly the same if you're reusing the belt. We're only reusing this belt because this timing belt is brand new, so is the water pump. It got a blown head gasket. So that's the only reason why we're reusing it. So let me go ahead and get this set, and this will be part one of your timing belt. I think I did forget to mention though, you do have to remove the alternator. Because um, there's three bolts, three 14 millimeter bolts right behind it. So and then you got two on the front. Once you get those removed, this bracket comes right on out so you can get the belt off. Sorry about that. That was a pretty important part to tell you to remove. Once this is out of the way, we have the belt already loose. We can slide it right on off. Alright, that's out of the way. Once this big old bracket is removed out of the way, you now have access to your timing belt. Which like I said, I've already removed it so it's already loose and it's spring loaded so we're just going to slide it right on off. Now the timing belt's off and as you notice I wrote up right here and I've got the actual marks where they were on the actual pulley so that way when you're putting it back together it's a pretty good guide, especially when you're reusing the same belt. I mean, this thing's brand spanking new, literally. So, that's off. Now, part two will be tomorrow when I'm actually putting it back together. So, we'll get it all set, reset the tensioner, get all that stuff done, get it all bolted back together. Um, next up is part one of how to remove your head on your D17s. So, um, anyways, hope that helps you guys. Love 59 videos. Hey.